All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Kraken Science, which is being made by forum user Well. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a selection of parts, mostly in the form of new science experiments, which are designed to study the mighty space Kraken, the great beast, which of course has been the doom of so many vessels out there, Rather than, of course, the uh, piloting ability of the crew or, you know, the lack thereof. So this beast clearly needs to be studied, and this mod comes equipped with about a dozen pieces of equipment to do so with. So let's just jump right on into the VAB and have a gander at what all this does offer. And I actually gotta come clean about one thing right off the bat here, folks, which may put some of you off about this mod, and in fact, it almost put me off of taking a look at this mod, and that's the fact that a lot of the parts, not all of them, but a lot of the parts in this mod pack are retextures of existing parts, and typically I don't care for mods that do that because I find it to be a, a lack of creativity, because typically mods that do this take something like a fuel tank and turn it into <gasps> a storage container, and I couldn't give less of a crap about that. But this mod pack, on the other hand, takes parts and turns them into scientific experiments and parts which you really wouldn't see as an experiment. You know it so well as this other part and seeing it retextured into a experiment, I found quite creative and quite interesting. So I'm here to show it off to you guys and hopefully you will enjoy it as well. So let us actually use the search bar today. Ooh, actually first, first let's grab ourselves a Mark One command pod for size comparison. And then in the search bar, put K-N-E-S. That is the manufacturer for all these lovely parts. And in here we have 12, technically, science experiments. Two of them are the same experiment, but with two different uh, textures to them. So technically 13 or technically 12. It could go either way. We also have two command pods and a engine. So let's take a look at the command pods first. So let's zoom in. Oh boy, I put the pluses into the search bar. <laughs> that's that's not gonna go well. There we are, excellent. And the first part we'll have a look at is the Scarab command pod. And it is of course an autonomous unmanned command pod with a built-in reaction wheel, SAS, a lot of electric charge, and also some monopropellant, which is optional to be added in. And it's a pretty decent sized uh, thing here. I quite like the look of it. It's got that cool gold feel to it of, oh boy, which is the, ah yes, this one, the HECS2. I always enjoyed the gold texture to it, so seeing it in the sort of square fashion here, I enjoy thoroughly. There we go, get back into here, and it's got a pretty decent uh, actual texturing job to this. It's one of the things, one of the reasons I like this mod still, even though it is retextures, it's a very high quality retextures. Like, look at this, we've got some scribbling on here, the Scarab Probe Core, Warranty Void if open. Uh, the mod maker actually went to a lot of trouble to make these very, very unique textures with a lot of detail, and I quite enjoy that. Now the next command pod we have is the Little Frog, and this is more designed for, you know, micro satellites. Now it has the same deal, unmanned command pod, reaction wheel, though that's a lot less powerful, built-in SAS, electric charge, and monopropellant. And this baby, if we pop it onto there, as you can see, is, you know, not very large at all. Smaller than the door of the Mark I command pod down here. And again, just has a beautiful texture to it. Very well put together. Again, warranty void if opened, though this time Little Frog Probe Core. And I, I just like the detailing work that's put into it. It's very, very lovingly made in my opinion, and that, that is just good. Now the next part we'll have a look at is the LV-4 Snail Monopropellant Engine. And this is the last of the non-science parts, so I figured let's get it out of the way. And it is very, very tiny engine. Again, a retexture of an existing one. And it is powered by monopropellant at 0.157 per second and will produce a measly little 2 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum. Not exactly the best engine in the world, but you know what? It works quite well. Let's flip it around and there we are. Excellent, just a beautiful, beautiful little engine and keeps with that same color scheme of these probe cores here that it's meant to be used with. 
and I enjoy that. And again, very good detailing to the textures, very cool indeed. Now, let us start on the experiments, and we will start at the top and work our way down. The first is, of course, a retexture of one of the scanners in the game, except this time we basically took the scanner and we filled it full of bees. Yes, it's an artificial honeybee hive, 3000, which has a shake honeybee experiment. And if we just pop this onto, oop, there we go, pop it right onto there, you can see it's much smaller than the typical scanner it's built from. And yeah, it's just a, a lovely honeycomb thing, and I actually quite like that, considering it is already sort of that shape. So it's just made more honeycombs on the inside and packed it full of bees, and that, that amuses me. And yeah, just a simple experiment, the shake honeybees are good to go. Now the next part we have is the biology rack, and this is actually a retexture of the rover probe core. And there we go, we just slap it right on there, and again, a very well made texture to it. I love all the sort of circuitry boards to this thing, and this is the biology rack, which does an, uh, a biology observation experiment. As you can see, it's apparently a robust biology rack system. Alright, there we go, very cool. And yes, just a nice design to it. I do quite look the, uh, like the look, there we go, if I can speak of all the circuitry and piping and wiring, etc. Very well done. We have a similar experiment down here that I'll just go ahead and grab, and that's the physiology rack, which again, a robust physiology rack. And there we go, very similar in design, but a lot less piping and wiring and more switches and panels. And yeah, I just like the look of it all. It's quite cool. The next experiment we have is the cardboard box, which uh, the experiment of observe the cardboard box. And there we go. It is literally just a cardboard box, which apparently needs to be lifted that way, that way up, which I'm clearly not doing at the moment. But there we go, a cardboard box. Uh, the next one here is, I think, one of my favorites. It's the color sampling, and it's taking a uh, the 2x3 solar panel and turned it into a color sample thing. As you can see here, we're retextured on the outside with color sample, and if we deploy it, there we go. We get all these color samples, and you can see them in the different lights, and it's, a, it's an interesting little experiment, and it's Expose Color Samples is the actual name of it, and it works quite well. The next one we have is the HG300 survey camera, which I find quite interesting on this one. This, of course, is using the model of one of the 1 to 3 engine separators or adapters, but instead it made it really small and attached camera lenses to it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I it's it's I find it a creative use of an existing model. It's quite cool. And it is an activate uh, experiment and it will just take some pictures. There we are. The next one we have is actually using the Stay Putnik and it is a Kraken scanner. If we put this thing on the side here, it is actually radially attached. It has no attachment point to it, sadly. Uh, but there we go. We put it on the side. We have the uh, Kraken scanner text right there. And a KNES a system, or uh, what, what exactly does that say? That the yeah, system for Kerbin. All right, there we go. It's a little bit uh, pixelated, but there we are. Just a nice retexture of that, and its science experiment is well research the Kraken. And there we are. The next two we have are the Kraken specimens, which of course are the same as the specimen container and they will observe a specimen of the Kraken itself, and it is terrifying if we deploy it in here. There we are, look at the hideousness of the Kraken eye and tentacle that we apparently have a sample of somehow. <laughs> uh, I like it, it's, it's just a fun, weird little thing. And there we go, we'll pop these babies off. We then have the magnetoplasma experiment here, which activates and will do a plasma demonstration. And there we are. Now, of course, this is taking the typical ion engine that we have. And again, a very cool texture on here. I like all the wording and imagery put onto the side of this. And when this is activated, it just lights up with the uh, plasma effect to do a plasma experiment. So again, just a very creative reuse of an existing part that I enjoy. The next is a microwave oven, which you activate and the Kerbal sees if it's edible or not, and it amuses me. And yeah, it's um, one of the simpler experiments. It is literally just a microwave, and yeah, that's, that's an experiment. <laughs> 
The next one we have is the MPLX C band radar, which is a big boy and also not besides just having a C band observe experiment, also has a thousand electric charge. And this is also one of my favorites on the texturing because it has the mobile processing lab expansion thing right here that I find quite cool. Uh, just a, a nice little use for it. So, you know, as a reason for it to be there in uh, for it being a uh, inline part like this that you know you just add it to the edge of the mobile processing lab and you're good to go and the final part we have is actually a uh, non retexture and that is the telescope tb45 parasol and there we go excellent it is of course a very big telescope but very nice looking i really do love the look of this thing it is quite well modeled quite well textured all in all a very 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 cool telescope and so let us actually go and take a look at these things in action i built a really really crappy little test platform the kraken research ship which is just some flat plates of steel bolted together so you can see all the experiments running and let's go to the launch pad Oh, hopefully they all work. Now, of course, I am in sandbox mode, but still, we can run these experiments. So if we start with the main central one, the C-band radar, and click that, there we go. We perform a series of weather observations. Now, I actually should point out right here that these descriptions for each experiment are unfortunately for right now the same no matter what biome you're in the mod maker hasn't added in enough uh well basically information panels for each biome hopefully that will get added in the future it would be very nice to have differing things here especially with this being a weather observe observation experiment man i can't talk today there we go we'll just keep that baby we then have of course my favorite color sample one i don't know why i like this one so much but i just do opens up and we have all the pretty colors look at that and apparently the red color seems the most resistant, but the yellow is the most stylized. Isn't it wonderful? There we go. We then have, of course, the physiological rack. There we are. You perform a series of physiology observations. We then have, of course, the biology rack, which is the same thing. Just replace physiology with biology. There we are. We have the Kraken Experiment 02, which there we go. We have the hideous sample in there and scary result, but it is for science. Excellent. The next one, of course, being the 01, it will give you actually the exact same observation here. Scary result, but it is for science. Uh, then let's see. Let's go to the honeybees next. So let's shake those honeybees and the report will come. There we go. Bees tried to produce some honey interesting <laughs> i don't know why but that makes me laugh okay we then have the box which i i just find it amusing that it's observe a cardboard box it's just boxes right <laughs> oh another good one the magnetoplasma one now lights up very nicely you perform a series of experiments on plasma effects we then of course have the survey camera you perform a series of observations, not the most creative one there. The microwave is always a good one. The result is not edible, but it is for the science. <laughs> uh, we then have the Kraken scanner. The instrument reads zero, nothing to report here. So we have not found the Kraken, unfortunately. And then last but certainly not least, we have this lovely telescope, which is also usable as a uh, command pod. As you can see, we can control from here and rename the vessel, etc. Disable RCS ports, blah, 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 blah. And then activate the telescope. And the photos are magnificent. It will make attractive postcards. Now, uh, of course, it says make of attractive postcards. Do keep in mind any of the text. If it is a little bit off, the uh, mod maker is French. So English is not his native language. So uh, I actually do believe he's asked for any help with fixing any of those weird little oddities. Because, well, of course, as I said, English is not his first language. So there we go. That is all the different experiments we have. We then, of course, have these lovely little... Uh, 
probe cores down here, but of course they have no science to them. And well, yeah, that is the Kraken Science mod. Now I have one more thing to show you, which uh, is just a satellite I put into orbit earlier, just to sort of show off what you can do with these parts uh, visually, so that you can get an idea of maybe some of the missions you might be able to do with these. And I just made a pretty quick satellite stacking, as you can see here, two of the Scarab probe cores on top of one another to build a solid little frame for a satellite. And, you know, plopped onto there some of our various experiments, our little monopropellant engine, which, uh, you know, we can activate there. I didn't show that off earlier. Not exactly the uh, greatest engine ever, but it functions well enough. And yeah, we can just uh, float this satellite around, taking our experiments, like, of course, the Kraken sample. Oh, it's hideous. Actually, that one is pretty hideous. The uh, the tentacle and the eyeball kind of creep me out. But yes, there we are, plus our other experiments here, including the magnetoplasma again. I like the glow. It's nice. But yeah, again, it is... It's uh, I... Hmm. Hmm. Gather my thoughts here. There we are. I find it to be a very nice mod. Now, again, some people might be put off by the fact that it is a retexture of a lot of existing parts. But personally, I find the specific parts that were used to be very interesting and the uniqueness of the experiments themselves I think is quite entertaining. You may not think so but for me personally the addition of new science experiments is always a good thing and the creativity of, of it I enjoy. So I hope you do like it as well and that you do give it a try and if you'd like to you can take a, link, a look at the link in the description as always. And yes, if you do build anything fun with these parts, I would love to see it. Send me a pic by tweet or Facebook, whatever. And yes, of course, I do hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to go search for the Kraken, folks. Goodbye!